What's up y'all, my name is Forrest Whitehead and I created this channel to help songwriters and producers learn how to produce better songs from home. And in today's video, we're gonna be seeing how quick we can come up with a song from scratch. So let's hop in. The first thing I would do here is open up Superior Drummer. I'm using the Fields of Rock dry kit right here. I really like the sound of this kit, but I just kind of want to bang out a groove here. That's what I came up with. You know, this kind of has that traditional, there's a lot of country songs in that kind of halftime tempo. You know, this reminds me of the old Luke Bryan song like, Girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom, down the lane, dancing in the pool. All right, I'm getting distracted. Let's see what kind of melodic thing that we can add on top of this. And I really don't want to, pick up an instrument and plug in a mic and do that whole thing. So let me go to my sample pack here. And there are a couple of variations. I made a banjo sample pack with over a hundred different variations. So in times like this, I can just grab a sample and we're at 74 BPM. So I'll pull the sample in. Let's give a listen and see how the sample lays on top of this drum groove. All right, easy enough. Well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Let's try that. All right, I fell on another chord progression there. I think I like it better. Just a simple progression there. We're just doing E, B, F sharp minor, and then A2. That's what we're gonna rock with on this progression. So let's see if we can build this thing up. And notice how that banjo part changes up there. You're already ahead of the game whenever you choose to use some of these samples because they've already got some of the licks and creativity done for you. So you can just kind of put some chord progressions over that lead lick and get started. Now that I've got the first section kind of built out, let me move on to the second section and try to do maybe what would be a verse part or you know a bridge part. I'm just trying to do like a different melody uh, just to have a variation in these changes here. Let me go to my piano. So usually if my song is in the key of E, I would do some type of different progression here to break this up. So let me see how this works here. I don't think I like that. Let me try one more thing. All right, so that's what it feels like it needs there. Just some type of turnaround. Let's see what this synth sound has going on for it. I don't really like that sound. Let me change it up. That's kind of cool especially on this build up here. So do y'all hear what's happening there? We're, we're creating like a turnaround and like, this could be a pre-chorus, this could be a bridge, I don't know what it'll be. To really tie everything together, we're gonna need some low end.
I really like this midnight bass and I'm gonna hold off on this midnight bass to that chorus. So let's drop it in there. Listen how that really brings that chorus together. One last thing I would do here is change this melody on this, this banjo part here. So one way I can do this is a plugin called Halftime. This is made by Cable Guys, and it does exactly what it says it does. It, it takes a file and it changes it halftime, breaks it down. And you can adjust the mix here. So I'm just trying different patterns here to see what feels good. What I'll do is I'll also take some high end off this part. So that's that same banjo part, but it feels completely different on this build here. Another thing I would do here is just come get a riser sample from splice real quick drop it in here that'll give our chorus some lift let's hear how this thing turned out here on this build All right, so I add a little bit of distortion there. I'm gonna put this mix at 100%. I just like the way this sounds. Awesome, so that's just a simple track start here in Studio 1.5. And if you're interested in getting your hands on these banjo samples, make sure to hit that link in the description and I hope to see you at musiccityplaybook.com. We'll catch you in the next video.